Hello everyone, welcome back to Skyline HDTV. Um, I'm sitting in my dad's car because I'm going on a trip for the first time in over a year and I'm really excited. I'll be flying to Raleigh, um, A573 to Charlotte and then 2703 question mark to Raleigh. Um, so this will be really exciting. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, you know, see what it's flying's like. Hello everyone, we are at Denver International Airport to board our flight. Um, the airport hasn't changed much. Well, because I've visited this airport when I take AT or AB, the buses. But no one, but I've seen like a family of six and I'm wearing a facial covering, but it's still required, so that's cool. And the airport is shockingly busy. The economy lot was full, the garage was full. There's a lot of traffic on Penny Boulevard on the way in, so are we back to pre-pandemic levels? Who knows? The doors are closing. Please keep clear and hold on for a departure to all Hayes Pierce. Exit here for all Hayes Pierce. Hey everyone, we are in I've passed security and um yeah this size terminal is really nice. Um I'll put a clip up. They opened a tiny tiny bit of the extension and that's beautiful. Like the floor looks really shiny and off. So yeah. Okay, all the seating is full, so I'm in the new expansion, which has been monopolized by United Airlines already. So United Airlines has all terminal B, half of the new expansion of terminal A, and a couple gates of terminal A in the upstairs, so. United Airlines is monopolistic, and that's why everyone hates them. Alright everyone, we are now on the aircraft. It's a Boeing 737. The registration will appear somewhere on screen because I don't remember it, but I know it. Um, it has the new interior. Like, you know, the... I'll show you. Like, you know, without scratch screens, but the thing that holds your device. And, uh, the and it has this revision of the safety card. I think after they removed the max from it, because it was the slides are gray for some reason. So, yeah. And the last ever copy of American Way Magazine. Okie dokie, okay, review of the seat. So, there's a lot of leg room, but um, I'm also five foot, so maybe it's not that much. So this is the new interior, so it has a literature pocket and the random stand thingy to hold your phone and other random stuff. I really dislike it, and I never used it. Um, the tray table's in the armrest, and I really dislike how it folds out, because it seems really weird and it's really cumbersome. It, like, there's so many places to hold your, to hold your phone for some reason, who cares why? 
And so the tray table folds out. So yeah. And um, I think I pinched myself when I was trying to put it away because that's fun because it's terrible. And then there's this small tray thingy for who knows why. There's a lot of random tables in first class on 737s. I don't think it's a required item. It's just a waste. No one needs seven places to put their drinks. There's also a small storage compartment with a 110 volt outlet. And uh, a lack of a footrest. And uh, that's about it. Because of COVID and other reasons, American Airlines doesn't have like a full meal service. So they just give out small um, items of food. And so for the continental breakfast, I have a um, ham and cheese sandwich. I actually think it's turkey. I don't remember. It was surprisingly good, but I couldn't really eat it because I have braces and like, I couldn't finish it. Yeah, but it was pretty decent. And we are now at Charlotte Douglas Airport. Um, it's been about an hour after the flight landed because I went and tried to eat something again. Well, I couldn't finish it again, but at least I ate some stuff, I guess. And uh, I've been sitting here editing the video for the past bit because, you know, it's something I kind of need to do. Our flight to Raleigh boards in 30 minutes and it's only 55 minutes in duration. So, yeah. Okay, everyone. My flight to Raleigh boards in. So, um, yeah, we're flying on uh, November 926 Uniform Whiskey. Yeah. So, um, see you there. And I'll do a review of the what's on board on an A321 because I think they're different. It'll be the first time I'll be on an A321 in first, so pretty cool.
now the seat on American Airlines is A321 is like exactly the same. Same phone stand, same literature pocket, same storage compartment in the side, same everything. However, I would notice that the tray table is a bit like cheaper feeling and isn't it's not as like it doesn't work as well. That might be because of u that might be because of use or it could be like a design difference. I don't know. It's really all the same. So that's about all I have to say about this aircraft. Now, since this is a shorter flight, there were no meal options, even in first class, and the only options were a snack mix, which was remarkably good. Okay, we're now back in Raleigh, North Carolina. So, oh my god, that flight was like so short. It was like 10 minutes long. Um, like they took drink orders and then before they served the drinks, the pilot announced to, to the cabin crew to prepare the cabin for landing. So that was funny. So. And I'm back at family's house and well, that's the end of the trip so far. I'm recording this part before we get on our flight home because I guess I didn't record a part when I was at the airport after we got off our flight to Raleigh. So, but I would thank you all for joining me on this trip report. Now, see you next time.